Hi, this is Deborah Sable Thornbrew, and I'm going to show you in this video how to create a customized template in Word 2016. On my screen, I have opened Word 2016, and I'm going to now click the File tab in the upper left corner so that I can click New, which would then make available the templates that they have already built in. So what I want to do is look for a cover letter template and there may be some here but I'm going to go ahead and use the search engine up here so I'm going to click in there and just type cover letter. Search for those and you have lots of different ones to choose from. I'm just going to pick this first one as an example. Create that. So here's the template. Now notice at the top of my screen it says document two. That means that it's this is the second time I've used a template in today. And I what I have open on my screen is not the template itself. Instead what I have is a brand new fresh document made from that template. So what I want to do is customize that template. I can use this template as a base and customize it and make my own custom new template. So the first thing I want to do then is save this as a new custom template. Then I can work on it and just resave it as that template. So, so I don't forget to save it correctly as the right kind of file. So I'm going to go up here and click Save As and then I'm going to not worry too much right now about where this template is going to be saved because generally Word, uh, Windows I should say, will automatically save a new template to the correct location for custom templates. So I'm just going to go down here into the file name area and give it this name. So I'm going to delete what that says and I'm just going to call this cover letter for resumes. But before I click Save, I need to change the type of document this is. Okay, I'm not going to save it as a plain Word document. So instead, I click on that to bring up the list, and I want to save this as a Word template. So I'm going to click Word Template. And now I'm going to click Save. But before I do that, notice that when I chose Word Template as the type of file that I wanted to save it as, it changed the location automatically and it's going to put it in a folder, a default folder that Windows has called Custom Office Templates and that's where I want it to go. I don't want it anywhere else because I want to be able to find it again if I ever need to. So I want to leave it alone, leave it at that location and now I can click Save. Now if you look up at the top in the title area it will reflect that new name for the template cover letter for resumes. So now what I'm going to do is make some changes to customize this template and make it my own. First, I'm going to click up here where it says your name and I'm going to make some changes to that, a couple of changes. First of all, I'm going to center it and I'm also going to center my contact information below that. Okay. Then I'm also going to change the color of the font here. Right now it's a blue and I would prefer that it be a darker green color. So I'm, I don't see the green I want here so I'm going to click more colors, go to standard and find a dark kind of foresty green. Maybe a little bit, make it a little bit lighter than that. So I go into custom and I can click and drag this little arrow up, make it a little bit lighter and then click OK click away and there's my new name. Now I only that's the only thing I want it to be green so I'm going to leave the rest alone. However, instead of saying your name, I want it to say actually my name because all my cover letters are going to be from me. So I'm going to change that out and put my name. It looks like it changed back to the original blue color so I'm going to have to put it back to the color I want. There we go. And uh, telephone, email address, street address, all of that I can uh, do later or I can or I can make my contact information. The date, I'm going to leave that alone because it's going to change every time I create a new letter. The recipient name it could change depending on who I'm writing the letter to. 
person's title, company address, and all of that. These are all placeholder fields, or rather content control fields. So I'm going to leave all that alone, and when the time comes for me to create a real letter off the template, I can fill this in. And this placeholder here is the biggest one. If I click, single click on that, it takes up, it, it highlights the entire thing, and I can just start typing over that to create my cover letter. Again, down here, I want to change it from your name to my actual name. So now that I've made the changes that I want, I can make this my own personal template. So what I'm going to do is click Save. Now, I already saved it as a template file once, so if I just click the regular Save button now, it should just update my template with all my changes in it. So now, if I, if I close this and I want to go and start it up again, I go back into Word, I click File, New, and this time instead of Featured, which is the default, I'm going to click Personal because those are my custom templates. And here's the one I just created, Cover Letter for Resume. So I'm going to click on that, and there it is. There's my template. Although Again, this looks like the template, and it's a copy of the template, but if you look at the top, it doesn't have the template name. This is a document, a fresh, new, brand new document copied from the template. So now, if I make changes to this, if I start typing in it, I would have to do a save as, uh, and you know, save it as whatever uh, individual cover letter I want it to be. But that's how you create one way that you can create a custom personal template. Start out by using a template that's close to the kind of look you want and then resave it as a whole new template, a personal template, under your own name and then make any changes to it that you want and just save it and that's your personal template.